Now this is a stairwell walking kind of day, let me tell you. It's horrible, it's windy, it's gale, gale force winds at moments. <laughs> it's Thursday and I just finished doing the stairwells. <sighs> Happy Thursday. I'm exhausted, I'm dripping with sweat. It actually wasn't cold standing out there because I am so hot right now. Um, <clears throat> but that's the kind of day I like to spend in the stairwell because uh, it's just too gross really to go out. And I'm in too much of a hurry to, um, to bother <laughs> walking all the way down, oops, pardon me, walking all the way down to the seawall and doing my run or my hit or whatever and then walking all the way back and I always stop at the grocery store and blah, blah, blah and I've got a business meeting in an hour and I'm not going to make it. <laughs> I'm running late and here I am vlogging with you guys because I'd rather do that than go to my business meeting. Oops. Anyway, um, so see how dark it is in my apartment when it's not sunny out. It just sucks. Anyway, um, I didn't have a whole lot to talk about today. I know I promised to talk about food but I really want to give that, that episode in brackets with an S episodes um, more time than I have right now and um, so I'm gonna do that another time soon uh, all I really wanted to chat about today really was what I almost nothing I'm gonna make it really quick um, today uh, because I usually when I check my mail my mailbox is downstairs 15 16 floors um, so it's a 15 floor climb back up home so when I do go check my mail every single day I, um, I take the stairwell back and then I can read my mail on the way back up the stairwell <laughs> and read all my junk mail, chuck it out when I get to the top. Um, so every day I do that. So on the day that I actually do stairwells uh, as my workout, I don't do that because that's just one too many and I would really just want to slip my wrists and be, be done with it because I don't like stairwells. Um, so instead of doing the one stairwell, I sub it in for a power squat blast, a five minute blast, <clears throat> which I, I found the, that idea on the internet somewhere. Um, and I'm doing pretty good with it. I hate it. Oh my god, because it's so hard. It's the idea is to do as many squats, proper good form squats, as you can um, in the five minutes that you are allotted. So you time yourself. So I, I hold my watch and I time myself. And my record is right now 188. I think I did 182 today. Wasn't quite what I hoped, considering I knew I was going to vlog about it later. Oh well. Um, and it's funny because I got an email on one of the email lists that I subscribed to. This one was from Mike Gary uh, saying that um, time body weight exercises is a good thing to do and there's other things you can do like push-ups or pull-ups if you're that strong. Five minute pull-ups, holy crow, I'd like to find someone who can do that. Um, but anyway, he says 200 squats in five minutes is a pretty good uh, record to do and my record's 188. So I'm, I'm doing pretty good if Mike Gary says 200 is good. Um, so I do that first. And then I try and get my pull-ups in because I, I also don't like doing my pull-ups because they're hard. Let's face it, they're hard. I do them every single day because I'm trying to build up, get up past what I can do. Um, and I'm going to try and vlog that one day because I know some of you want to do pull-ups and aren't able to. And let me I'm here to tell you that the first time I did a pull-up, I actually did it at my brother's place on his kid's jungle gym. I just wanted to see if I could do one because um, I knew I was getting a little stronger and I didn't really have a place to do them. And I just wanted to see if I could do one. So I went out to there and I did one. And I was shocked at how much I engaged my core to get my body up. I, just, I thought it was going to be strictly arms and back. And my whole core just popped at me. And I thought, wow, this is an exercise I really want to have at my disposal all the time. So that's why I, um, I did find a place. There's a playground next door to this building. So I went there a few times. I got bored of going out. To, to do pull-ups. There's a um, universal gym in my basement down by the pool that's in disrepair. It's in bad shape, but there is a place to do pull-ups. Um, it's not a good place. It's not stable. It, the bar will fall any minute. So uh, I was using that until I finally managed to convince a friend to come on over and install a pull-up bar for me. So that's why I had a pull-up bar installed um, because I d just by accident discovered what a great exercise it really, really is. And um, I'm here to tell you that what they say is true. You, you do get your strength for pull-ups really fast really, really fast. Um, one day I could do one, the very next day I could do two. And like three days later I could do three. And you know, two weeks later I could do four. <laughs> and now I can do six and I'm kind of stuck. Damn. So here's to my dream of doing a hundred and showing all those boys, you know, oh well. Anyway, i um, still working on it. Still trying to do them daily. I'm still trying to build up. I'm still stuck. But anyway, um, so after I do the, get the pull-ups out of the way, then I'll go hit the stairwell and um, I the stairwell again it's like it's like my hill sprints I can't count I can't watch because it makes me crazy it's 45 minutes of pain so what I do is I actually take a book 
And all those guys out there advocating intensity would hate that I'm telling you guys this is a good way to work out. But it really, I think that it is, because I am dripping in sweat right now. I'm sweatier than I am when I do hit. So I take a book, I go to the basement, I climb up to the 20th floor, um, reading the book. And I know people are like, how do you do that? But I've got peripheral around the book, I can see where I'm stepping. So I can actually read and concentrate and see, see the steps and not trip. So I read until I get 20 and then I push the elevator button and I go back down, I do it again, I do it eight times. And um, uh, some days it's, uh, I wish, I, I wonder why I'm doing it because some days the elevator takes forever to come. So I'll do like, you know, wall, wall arm ups or whatever to get my posture straight while I'm waiting or I'll pace or I'll do push ups against the wall or I'll do push ups on the floor, whatever. Um, because sometimes the elevator takes a long time to come and sometimes a million people get into it and it stops on every floor on the way down and by the time I get to the bottom I'm like, well that ruined that. But today, not one single time did another person get in the elevator and it came immediately almost every single, or every single time at the 20th floor. So I had a really good workout, it went by really fast. My heart rate never really got down too far. But I do consider stairwells to be a little bit of a version of, of, um, of hit because you get your heart rate really high by the 20th floor and then uh, while you're waiting for the elevator and dry, riding down on the elevator, your heart rate falls, you rest. So you, you, you work and you recover, and you work and you recover, and you work and re you recover. Uh, longer cycles, but still a version of HIT, if you ask me. So, um, so that's what I did today. So really, that's kind of all I wanted to talk about was uh, um, if you can't do pull-ups, try them. Try, try doing unassisted. Just do one, one, one. Kelly, just do one. <laughs> just do one. Uh, I promise, tomorrow you can do two. Um, and if, you, if it's really, really hard, then put your hands to get close together on the bar. I can't show you because I'm holding the camera, but instead of ha having your arms out, um, hold them in and, hold, and, and put the palms in. Uh, and that's a good way to get started too, because it's a little bit easier um, than palms out or palms forward and arms far apart. So that's a good way to, get, to at least get the motion going and get your body kind of, oh, hey, is this what you're making me do now? You know, so anyway, I hope you guys are having a great Thursday. I gotta get in the shower and get racing out. And one day, eventually, you'll get to see me not looking like hell, not looking like hair back and, and sweating like mad and workout clothes on and, ugh, like, yikes. Um, I'm going out tonight, so maybe I'll try and vlog <laughs> right after I finish getting ready. You guys can see how good I can look if I really try. Um, anyway, have a great day, and um, we'll talk to you soon.